एटीन हंड्रेड आवर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय आयशा नाया फर्स्ट दी हेडलाइंस प्राइम मिनिस्टर वाइल इनोग्रेटिंग सिक्स हंड्रेड किलो वॉट मिठियारी लाहौर ट्रांसमिशन लाइन इन इस्लामाबाद टुडे सेट कॉर्पोरेशन इन इंडस्ट्रीज एंड एग्रीकल्चर एरियाज अंडर सी पैक विल हेल्प पाकिस्तान रिड्यूस डेट बर्डन थ्रू वेल्थ क्रिएशन Imran Khan says government is ensuring the protection of forest land for safeguarding the environment. National Command and Operations Center has asked the people to get vaccinated against COVID-19 without any delay as the non-vaccinated people will face restrictions from tomorrow. Adviser on National Security says Pakistan has always strived for peace and stability in Afghanistan and world should learn from its past mistakes. China says India's forward policy and illegal encroachment upon the Chinese territory across the border are considered as the root cause of tensions between the two countries. Israeli forces have martyred three Palestinian in separate incidents in the occupied Palestinian territory. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan has vowed to accelerate pace of work on projects being executed under the umbrella of multi-billion dollars China-Pakistan Economic Corridor project. He was addressing a ceremony in connection with the inauguration of Mitiari to Lahore 600 kilowatt transmission line completed under the CPAC in Islamabad today. The Prime Minister said the scope of CPAC is now being expanded from power generation and road infrastructure projects to cooperation in the areas of industries and agriculture. He said cooperation in these two important sectors will help Pakistan reduce the debt burden through wealth creation. Regarding Mithyari Lahore transmission line, the Prime Minister said this 886 km long state of the art transmission line will help reduce power losses. In his remarks, Minister for Energy Hamad Azhar said the project is now ready for electricity transmission after testing phase of 6 months. He said other projects under the CPAC will also be completed on time. Chinese ambassador to Pakistan Nong Rong said Mitiari Lahore transmission line will realize the safety and reliability of the grid system, optimize energy distribution of the entire country and lower the electricity cost. He said the CPAC up to now has brought investment of 25.4 billion dollars and created 75,000 job opportunities. He said the project has made significant contribution to the socio-economic development of Pakistan. During a meeting on a National Coordination Committee on Housing Construction and Development in Islamabad today, Imran Khan said the government is ensuring the protection of forest land by safeguarding environment. He said food security and climate change are currently the most important issues in the world. The Prime Minister said the government is also taking steps to free occupied land. He asked the authorities concerned to strictly implement laws to prevent land grabbing. National Command and Operation Center says strict restrictions will be enforced for non-vaccinated individuals from tomorrow. In a tweet, NCOC stressed the general public to get fully vaccinated without further delay. NCOC announced to implement conditions of vaccination to get access to educational institutions, domestic and international travel, restaurants, shopping malls, wedding halls and other daily necessities. President Dr Arif Alvi says the society has a collective responsibility for protection of women rights addressing a ceremony in Islamabad today he stressed the need for behavioral changes to provide due rights to women the president said a civilized society itself ensure rights to its weaker segments he said islam has clearly explained the rights of women and gave rights to women 14 centuries ago the president said despite the availability of inheritance laws pakistani women face numerous pressures to get their property rights he said only a society having justice can progress The government has opened the SRS undergraduate scholarship portal to receive fresh applications for the academic year 2021 and 22 from the deserving and eligible students. The scholarship portal will be opened online till November 30 this year. 
newly admitted students of fall 2021 session under four to five years undergraduate degree programs in any of the HEC recognized 135 public sector universities are eligible to apply. If their family income is less than 45,000 rupees a month, the eligible students can apply through the online portal srs.hec.gov.pk. The scholarship applications will have to mention the universities to which they are applying. This is Radio Pakistan. Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting Farooq Habib says the world must not abandon Afghanistan to prevent any humanitarian crisis in the country. Addressing a conference about reconstruction of Afghanistan in Islamabad today, he said the world must accept the new reality in Afghanistan and support the Afghan people. The Minister of State said the Afghan people should have a full opportunities to grow along with the world. Farooq Khabib said Prime Minister Imran Khan has been clear in his stance on Afghan issue and he always stressed on political solution to the conflict. He said Pakistan is the only country that hosted 4 million Afghan refugees and a large number of Afghans are still living in Pakistan. National Security Advisor Dr. Moeed Yusuf says terrorism is a major threat to Pakistan's stability as post-9-11 policies in Afghanistan had led to terrorism in the country. He was addressing the special session of the Islamabad Security Dialogue held at Nasta University on the situation in Afghanistan. Dr. Moeed Yusuf underscored that the world should learn from the mistakes of the past. Pakistan has always tried for peace and stability in Afghanistan. He vowed that Pakistan has always wanted a stable Afghanistan. Afghanistan has received the first batch of humanitarian aid mainly include war materials such as blankets and cotton clothes from China. In a tweet, China's ambassador to Afghanistan, Wang Zhang, said the assistance shows the deep love and friendship of Chinese people to Afghan people and reflects China's role as a major country that keeps its promises and is kind of its neighbors, which is a great move to build a community with a shared future for mankind. The Afghan Interim Minister for Refugees Khalid Haqqani received the aid at Kabul airport. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops are deliberately targeting the Kashmiri women to suppress the Kashmiri's ongoing struggle for securing freedom from India's illegal occupation of their soil. A report released by Kashmir Media Service said that Kashmiri women are the worst victim of Indian state terrorism in illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. The report further said that Kashmiri women faced harassment, abuse and sexual violence at the hands of Indian forces for the last over seven decades, particularly since 1989. China says India's forward policy and illegal encroachment upon the Chinese territory across the border are considered as the root cause of tensions between the two countries. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Huai Shang told a press briefing in Beijing that India has long been following the forward policy and illegally encroached upon China territory across the border. The spokesperson said that China opposes the arm race aimed at gaining more control in the disputed areas along the border. He said we will uphold the national territorial sovereignty, security and we will uphold the peace and stability along the border. India has deployed more sophisticated artillery including M777 Hwitzer guns along the line of control, actual control with China in eastern Ladakh. Israeli forces have martyred three Palestinians in separate incidents in the occupied Palestinian territory. These Palestinians were martyred the West, the occupied West Bank village of Burkin in the old city of Jerusalem in the Gaza Strip. Now some of the headlines once again. Prime Minister, while inaugurating 600 kilowatt Kilowatt Mityari Lahore transmission line in Slamba today said cooperation in industries and agriculture areas under CPEC will help Pakistan reduce debt burden through wealth creation. Imran Khan says government is ensuring the protection of forest land for safeguarding the environment. National Command and Operations Centre has asked the people to get vaccinated against COVID-19 without any delay as the non-vaccinated people will face restrictions from tomorrow. 
and that is the end of the news for more news and analysis log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletin on the link facebook.com forward slash radio pakistan news official